We all know that getting an actuarial job isn't going to be easy and it's going to be really time consuming too. So if you want to know my number one tip for speeding up your actuarial journey so you can get into your actuarial dream job as quickly as possible, then you are going to love this video because that's exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm Bria, an associate of the Society of Actuaries and the leader of the Actuary Accelerator community where aspiring actuaries come together, learn everything they need to in order to become in-demand actuarial candidates. And throughout my own actuarial journey, as well as watching the actuarial journey of many, many, many other people, I have realized that most aspiring actuaries use a combination of the trial and error approach and the Frankenstein method in order to come up with a plan for their actuarial journey. Now, let me explain what those two things are. The Frankenstein method means that basically aspiring actuaries collect tons of information, tidbits of wisdom and advice from all over the internet. It comes from a wide range of different sources and they kind of fit that all together into some sort of jigsaw puzzle if if that's the analogy you like to think of it as, a jigsaw puzzle of a whole bunch of different pieces that came from a whole bunch of different places and they all kind of fit together, but not really. So that's what a Frankenstein method is. It means you're collecting pieces of information from all over the place and from a variety of different sources as well. Unfortunately, some of those pieces of information are outdated, others are just not accurate in the first place. So this can result in an actuarial journey that is really not ideal. Sometimes it's missing important components sometimes it's doing things in the complete wrong order and that means it takes longer for the aspiring actuary to reach their goal. Sometimes they never even reach the goal at all which is to get an actuarial job. That's the Frankenstein method. Now the trial and error method is a little bit different. The trial and error method basically means that since there's a lack of information aspiring actuaries just try things and hope that they work. For example maybe an aspiring actuary doesn't know how to prepare properly for an actuarial exam so they they use the trial and error method. That means that they just maybe use the method that they used in school and that's probably not going to work because actuarial exams are much different than the exams in school. But since there's not really other advice to go on, they just keep on trying that method. They hope it works. If it doesn't, they try something a little different, hope that works. And if that doesn't work, they just keep trying new things until either they eventually get it or they just give up. So those are the usually the two options that come with the trial and error method. It usually takes a long time if you want to use the trial and error method. So like I said, most aspiring actuaries end up kind of using the Frankenstein method, collecting a whole bunch of information from all over the internet and kind of combining that to create a plan for themselves on how they are going to become an actuary. And then they use the trial and error method to achieve those certain steps that are in that plan. And while this can work, I know that most of you want to achieve your actuarial goal as quickly as possible you want to get into that actuarial position soon so that you can start working and living the dream of an actuarial career. But you want to do that with as less stress as possible and you want to do that without having to add a whole bunch of work to your plate, right? You want to maintain a work-life balance. Let me know down in the comments if this describes you. Are you one of these people that wants to make sure you get through your actuarial journey efficiently without all the stress and the worry and making a whole bunch of sacrifices all the time in order to achieve this goal? Let me no, down in the comments say that's me because that was me. I didn't want to have to sacrifice a whole bunch of things. I didn't want to have to spend lots and lots of time, like all my free time studying for actuarial exams and pursuing this goal. I really didn't want that. But for me, there was no other method. I didn't know how to do it. So I did the same as most people do. I used the Frankenstein method. I kind of came up with this plan that put a whole bunch of pieces together. And then I hoped that I was doing the right thing because I was using the trial and error method to to pass exams and do all the other things that I needed to in order to become a great actuarial candidate. So now that you understand what most people do, the natural question is, how do you avoid using these methods then? The answer is to get an actuarial mentor. An actuarial mentor can help you significantly reduce the amount of time that you have to spend on your actuarial journey because they are able to help you skip over the common mistakes, they'll help guide you in the right direction, and they'll know how to fix any problems that you're running into. 
Sometimes they'll see things before you that you don't even know you're doing. And that can be a really huge benefit of having a mentor that's going to help you through your actuarial journey. So first off, what is an actuarial mentor? Basically, this is someone that has been in your shoes. They know what you're going through. They have done what you want to do. So that's why they are able to provide so much insight and support because they've already done it. They've made the mistakes. They have 2020 vision because looking back on what they did, they realize where they made mistakes. They know what they could have done differently and they are able to use that insight in order to help you achieve your goal faster because you can avoid those mistakes. They already know what those mistakes are and they can tell you, don't do that. It's not going to help you. Don't do that. It's going to take too long and that's going to help you get through your actuarial journey so much faster. And that's the major benefit of having an actuarial mentor. Actually, that's a big part of why members join the Actuary Accelerator community. Not only do they get access to me as their mentor, but they also get access to tons and tons of other aspiring actuaries that are ahead of them in their journey. That means that the beginner candidates get a lot of support and advice because there are lots of candidates ahead of them. People that have passed exams, people that have learned the technical skills, people that have gotten interviews, people that have gotten jobs and internships. Those people have tons of experience and knowledge built up within them and they are willing to share it with other beginner aspiring actuaries. And that's what makes a community like the Actuary Accelerator community so amazing because it's filled with mentorship. And this isn't something that's just applicable for actuaries. This is something that has been around for tons and tons of years in the business world. Famous business professionals that you probably know like Bill Gates, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Steve Jobs, they all have had mentors in their past. It's how they became what they are today. And many of them have even passed where their mentors were at. And that's because they were able to skip over all the hurdles. They were able to get to where their mentors were so much quicker because they had that mentor to support them. It's an amazing, amazing thing to think that other people have gone through this journey before and are willing to help you so that you can achieve your goal quicker. And that's what a mentor will do for you. So comment down below if you know any other professionals that had a mentor as they were going through their professional career. I know this happens all the time. It's just not really talked about all that much. But these people that are developing amazing careers, including actuaries, do have mentors and it can really save tons of time and help reduce stress and help you keep your work-life balance. So there are several different ways that mentorship can take place and I'm going to go through those right now. So for members of the Actuary Accelerator community, they're basically in a group mentorship program. They have access to me as their mentor, but they also have access to tons of other aspiring actuaries that are ahead of them in their their journey. And together, we all work to make sure that each individual member of the Actuary Accelerator community is getting the advice and the knowledge and the support that they need in order to get through their actuarial journey as quickly as possible. There are also lots of resources in there that members of the community can use in order to learn the technical skills, in order to learn how to create a really good resume, in order to learn the exam concepts, all that kind of stuff is in one place. And it involves a lot of mentorship because there's a step by step plan that helps you know exactly what you need to be doing at every stage. Now, the really amazing thing is that all the members of the Actuary Accelerator community have gone through the same trainings. So they are all able to help you move forward through that plan because they've all done the same thing. So that's what group mentorship looks like. Another option for mentorship is where you meet specifically with one mentor on a regular basis. And during this meeting, you'll probably talk about where you're currently at, maybe some of the problems that you're running into and you'll be able to just ask questions that you have at that time. Now I've done a few of these coaching calls or mentorship calls and I've posted them on my channel. One was with James and the other was with Raphael. So if you want to go watch those after this video I will link them down below in the description so that you can go watch those calls. They are basically mentorship calls and they help the person that I was mentoring figure out where they need to go next and I answered a lot of their questions as well. So that's what in individual mentorship would look like. Usually it's harder to find these types of mentors because there's not really a database out there of people that are willing to be mentors for aspiring actuaries. A third option of mentorship is where you just reach out to your mentor whenever you have a question or a concern. And this is great if you can find it, but it's not really the ideal situation because you want your mentor to be proactively supporting you. You don't want to have to think of which questions to ask them all the time because like I said, before, you don't necessarily know what you 
don't know. You don't know the questions that you need to be asking. And that's the really big benefit of a mentor is having someone that's watching you go through the process and guiding you along the way because you don't really know what to watch out for. And if you don't really know what to watch out for, then you don't know what to ask. So that kind of mentorship would be great if you can find it, but it's really not the ideal situation. So if you don't have an actuarial mentor yet, make this a high priority. Give this video a thumbs up if you want an actuarial mentor and make sure you make it a priority to go find your mentor so that you can get through your actuarial journey faster. And you also reduce the amount of stress and time that you have to spend on your actuarial goals every single day. Next week's video is going to be all about the three most important things you need to prepare successfully for an actuarial exam. So if you want to make sure you don't miss that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. There's a big button that says subscribe, hit it and turn on notifications too so that you don't miss that video. I will see you then. Bye for now.